What is going on guys? This is Alex for Stellar and in this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how to fix the blue screen of death on Windows 10 because it can actually start interrupting your workflow quite badly. I'm going to show you exactly a few steps how you can resolve this because it's going to actually get also you know really really delicate for your hardware. So if you guys are excited for this video make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Stellar for more of these helpful videos and I would say let's get started fixing our blue screen of death in Windows 10 right after the intro. Okay, so of course we are all familiar and once in a while we have this blue screen of death all of a sudden unannounced, you're just working, you're into your thing and all of a sudden your computer needs a critical restart. Now 9 out of 10 this has something to do with for example like outdated drivers, Windows updates that didn't go quite well. So let's go and see which kind of methods we can use to resolve this. Because of course we all know the blue screen's happening maybe like once a year or once every two years. But if it's happening monthly or even weekly, I would actually go and you know take a look at this so this can actually affect your hardware as well in the long run and also just you know mess up with your cpu or anything internal because if you're not going to fix this and keep ignoring this it's only going to get worse so let's see which kind of steps that we can take to resolve this issue all right so the first one is turn off automatic restart it's actually very very simple how to do that so you want to press your windows key plus the r key to open up the run prompt then you want to type in s y SDM. Then you will get this box and then it will show you a advanced tab that you want to click on. So then the bottom option that says startup and recovery, you want to click the settings option. And then right here under system failure, you want to make sure to uncheck automatic restart. So this is a really, really helpful method to make sure to not have these automatic restarts because sometimes when they are unexpected or something might go wrong, that could even cause your blue screens, start them or also just trigger them. So you just want to make sure that you want to do a restart whenever that's appropriate. Appropriate. So that's actually a fairly easy option to do just in your settings. So the next one is also into the settings menu. So the second method is to just uninstall unused or unwanted applications, not only to save you space, because let's say you have a game installed that's like 80 or 90 gigabytes, that's also going to save you a lot of space too on your hard drive, because the root of the issue is on your C drive. And that's where also you have games installed. So let's say that in the background without you knowing, you're always uploading or updating your, you know, existing games that you have. So you want to click on the start menu and then you want to type in programs and then right here it says delete or manage programs and then it will prompt up a huge list to see which kind of softwares or programs do you want to delete. You can also sort them by the size if you want to you know see which is the biggest one for example like 200 gigabytes or something like that. You can also just sort them really really simple and just make sure to delete any of these softwares that you've not been using because I would say if you have a software in that list you haven't been using for let's say about a year just get rid of it you know you're not going to use it for just an upcoming while as well why would you keep all that space on your computer and of course causing possible blue screens so for the third method uninstalling windows updates and doing them again is of course also a really really good option it doesn't mean that you have to uninstall you know windows updates and then just you know think like this is the update that causes the blue screen let's just keep rid of it because sometimes your computer needs the updates so what you would actually do is just remove an update and just completely install them do a fresh installment so none of the files are corrupt and none of them are also just triggering your blue screen. So how do you access your Windows updates or the history? You want to go to your start button and then type in Windows updates and then it will show you all the installed updates. So then right here it says like delete update. So right here we have all the updates we have installed pretty recently and if you find something unusual or if you find something else that you don't really recognize right away or you think like oh since that update my blue screen started or it got worse then you can just delete that one and also just reinstall it. Do a fresh install to make sure everything is installed properly. All right, so the next one is of course pretty obvious. Let's say that you have a lot of drives for backups for YouTube, for your videos, for other projects. You have all kinds of USB slots. You have like an SD card reader. All of these attachments on your on your computer are actually pretty heavy because they're running constantly, even if there is not a disk inserted into your SD card reader, for example. So what I would do is any drives that you're not using, one, or you can build them internal into your computer. It's a little bit of an issue 
issue if you have to go out somewhere and you have to take that physical drive with you because it's mounted in your computer. But if you have drives that you don't use, for example, when you're working, you can just disconnect any of these drives. Let's say you have only an external hard drive for games. You can just unplug them while you're working to make sure that you don't get a blue screen and lose all your work because of you know some corruption on the actual disk. So that's really, really important. Just check on which kind of hardware is connected that you shouldn't actually have or is not really necessary. It doesn't have to be like drives, but it can also be other USB devices. So make sure to check on that as well. So moving on to the next method, which is the SFC scan, which is of course the system file checker. So what you need to do is you wanna go from your desktop, you wanna press the Windows key and the X at the same time. And then it's gonna prompt you this little menu in the bottom left corner. And then you want to click on command prompt. From there, you want to click on yes on user account control, the UAC prompt that appears. Once the blinking cursor appears, you wanna type in in the prompt box sfc space forward slash scan now then you want to press the enter key then it's going to do a lot of different scanning and it will check your integrity of windows system files and make sure everything is correctly and if anything is wrong they will also tell you all right so the next method all right, so the next method is the system restore. So if you want to have a backup or you want to go to a previous state your computer was in, you can go into the Windows key, you want to type in system restore, and then you will find all the partitions and all the different dates where you made a backup. Now, I would actually recommend doing this also after you've done all the installments and all the after the things we talk about today, because if you're gonna make a backup before we're gonna do all this, if it might happen again in the future, you're gonna reinstate your computer before everything was scanned, reinstalled and fixed. So I would actually recommend you guys to first make just a backup just in case. You can make multiple ones guys, you're not gonna overwrite them, but I would just make one before you do all the updates and then you want to do all the steps we have covered so far in this video. And then afterwards that you wanna also make a restore point just in case if you need to go back to the previous state you can do that then if you have done all the steps you can just go back straight away to the restore point that you made after all the updates and then right here in this menu you want to choose the disk that you want to have a restore point from i would just keep them all checked so all of your drives and everything like that and internal is backed up and that's really really simple how to do that all right so now that we're at the last method of this video it is very very straightforward how to use the stellar data recovery software so let's say that you have some something like a USB drive and you have all your files on there. You want to also recover them, for example, from your drive onto your computer. It's fairly simple. So you want to open up the Stellar Data Recovery, the free version. And then right now you have this menu where you will see where you can recover everything that you like. Right here we have all data. We have office documents. We have folders. We have emails. So the next in the menu right now, you want to select the drive that you want to recover from if you want to reinstall Windows or a certain updates properly so if you have your usb drive plugged in into your computer you want to select the drive that is in this list and then you want to hit on scan right now the scanning is in process it's going to take a little while depending on how big of your system is how many files do you actually have on your computer so i would just let this run and make sure everything is done correctly i wouldn't touch your computer just in case you don't want to mess up anything because this is a very real crucial process but once this is done then everything will be reinstated just how it was all right so that's this for this video this is how you fix your blue screen of death in windows 10 using the stellar data recovery software all the info is in the description down below to get started also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos and we will see you guys obviously next time.